The duty of every citizen of Russia is to defend his motherland. Russians are not afraid of any sanctions, and poverty is a necessary measure. Every day Russian officials trump at this from all the television screens of the Federation. But they forget to mention that despite the worsening economic situation, they continue to order vouchers at public expense. Worrying about the motherland and being treated at the expense of taxpayers is a common occurrence for the most regions of Russia, including for the most subsidized ones such as Dagestan. 30 million rubles are used to pay for the rest of officials in the health resorts in the Caucasian mineral waters. The voucher includes accommodation, meals, treatment, cultural and leisure services, a mandatory set of medical services and recreational activities. The corresponding contract was signed by the administration of the head and the government of the region with the only participant in the procurement provision of services for the organization of sanatorium and spa treatment for persons holding positions in the state civil service of the Republic of Dagestan. From the Chernovik Public publication. Despite the fact that the volume of domestic air travel in Russia fell by 14% and the industry is suffering heavy losses, vouchers for 30 million rubles were ordered for employees of the state corporation in the Stavropol territory. Only the lazy do not know that corruption is an integral part of Russian politics. Thus, the head of the Federation Council, Valentina Matvienko, proposed a moratorium on the law on public procurement, so that it would be possible to use the funds faster. Despite the fact that the scale of corruption in Russia is amazing, on the other hand, there are a number of deterrent factors, which do not allow them to roam too much. One of the factors is need to conduct public procurement for state bodies in a public manner through the public procurement website. Now, under the pretext of a military situation, they are trying to get rid of it. It's understandable that they now want to get rid of everything. Beyond that, don't forget that this initiative is beneficial to Matvienko herself, because her son gets rich on government contracts. Closed declarations, the abolition of a transparent public procurement procedure, all these are measures caused by the military situation, Russian officials say. In fact, this only simplifies the promotion of corruption schemes. On the one hand, deputies of the United Russia Party call those who condemn the war against Ukraine or travel to unfriendly fasting countries traitors to the motherland. On the other hand, they have real estate in NATO countries. The louder a Russian politician shouts about patriotism, the harsher he calls for the destruction of Ukraine, the more actively he criticizes Western countries, the more actively he enriches himself. If we talk about Deputy Morozov, who is one of the ideologists of the United Russia Party, the then he has registered the Montenegrin villa in his sister's name. We proved that he uses this real estate because we found on the Google map a picture of a car that belongs to the deputy Morozov. Another state Duma deputy from the United Russia Party, Oleg Matveychev, who calls NATO a cancerous toner on the body of the planet and the Russians who left the country are Judas, did not deny himself the opportunity to celebrate the wedding of his daughter Lydia in one of the countries of Europe. Now she lives in Geneva and works for an international organization that deals with ethics, say investigative journalists from Navalny team. Reported by Roman Smoller, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.